act in a timely manner. Um, it would not cost you anything additional to use an alternate. Um, if citizens needed an SEO, they would then have the ability to choose if they should hire the primary or the alternate to do their job. Um, there's no reason not to, and um, because it's your duty to make sure that things get done in a timely manner, having done um, would, would not harm the township. That's what I got from my research. Thank you very much. I have a comment on that. Supervisor Watson? I think we should have an alternate. We've had an awful lot of trouble with Washington Sewage Authority in the past. And we've had to initiate Harshman to resolve it. If he was doing it, we wouldn't have to initiate him to do it. I think uh, we should have him as an alternate, in my opinion. I also have a comment on it. Um, the information that you you gave us in our packet, so it states that the two agencies are required to afford the planning of alternate after successfully completing the pre certification test. The, the definition of, in the Act 537, the local agency, we're the municipality. The local agency is Washington County Sewage Council. So by law, Washington County, the way I'm reading it, Washington County Sewage Council has to have multiple. We're not the local agency in the definition on page two. We are the municipality. The definition of the, it, it's a lot clearer in the newer version. This is like the 1960s version. But I guess it wasn't that common to have the multi-municipal agencies at that time. So they do define it a lot better in the more current 537 plan. But the local agency is defined as Washington. So Washington County Storage Council would be, um, would have to have the alternate. They'd have to have more than one. Um, I also read through that the problem, and if I'm correct, maybe Jamie can help me, but if I'm correct, if Jamie or Harshman Associates, I don't know, I, I reached out to Harshman to see if you had more than one person on staff. We have, one. we have one. So technically, I'm not sure that Hirschman wouldn't have to also have a alternate because he would be the local agency. So Hirschman, and, I, and I'm not sure, that, but the local agency that you use has to have more than one on staff, the way I'm reading the 537. I did run all through all of this with Sweat to Office to make sure that I was interpreting the 537 correctly because I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> Um, and and they affirm that everything that I have in the memo is is correct, and that you know there's no harm, there's nothing prohibiting having an alternate so that we have more options and that citizens have more options to choose who they'd like to go and, with. And the way I and again I'd have to count on sweat law, but the way I'm reading the Act 537, if we use Mr. Harshman because he's our engineer, is we would have to adopt a fee schedule for him. We would have to, um, by ordinance, and tell the DEP that he now has the authority, a delegation agreement somewhat, to be an, uh, an enforcement officer and the, describe the territory. He wouldn't be able to inspect anything that he had anything to do with the design in. And we would have to collect the fees for him by adopting a fee schedule. So we would have to pass an ordinance, adopt a fee schedule, collect his fee, which would put possibly more work on the staff. So you would have, so there would be